Network efficiency for an operator, the environmental efficiency, is based today on a strong commitment we have done to be net zero in 2040. Uh, to do that, we have implemented uh, a methodology with ITU uh, to be compliant uh, with uh, the trajectory of the sector, of ICT sector, to be under 1.5 degrees. And it's based on three pillars. First, reduce, reduce, really, on scope one and, and, and three, uh, uh, deploying um, innovative solutions uh, like optimized data centers with a PU around one, uh, virtualization of servers, free cooling, uh, optimized energy efficiency of building with sensors to, to avoid to uh, consume too much in, in certain circumstances, uh, implementes, implementing uh, electric, electric vehicles. Uh, and on the scope three, we are have implementing a circular economy, uh, car sharing, uh, reusing boxes five times, avoiding to rebuild four, four times, uh, di uh, having discussion with uh, suppliers uh, to reduce uh, the, the building of equipment. The second pillar is uh, uh, having a portfolio of uh, services uh, which uh, could avoid uh, energy consumption in other sectors. And at the end, the, the, the third pillar is we will have an incompressible uh, CO2 emission uh, and we chose to sequestration to uh, implement carbon sinks uh, to, uh, uh, to compense, to uh, equilibrate contability the uh, emission which are incompressible. In the future, what we have to do, we have to enforce the green ITN programs with more innovation, with 5G, implementing IoT, artificial intelligence, uh, increasing the quantity of renewable energy with PPAs, ESCO, solar farms, and enforcing circular economy. I think that uh, standardization is a key factor of success because we have in the sectors to all speak the same languages, to have the same measurement, how we can compare, how we can be sure that we really contribute to reduce the, the carbon footprint of the planet and we have to have KPIs, measurement, standardization, methodologies. And this is uh, something which has been recorded at the COP26 with the Gla Gla Glasgow Climate Pact, is to uh, have capacity building to do that and to enforce the Article 6 of the treaty. I think it's important to everyone because uh, we often say that ICTs uh, is a part of the solution uh, to reduce uh, the enable effect or to uh, reduce the climate change impact of all the sectors, of organization, of society, of government and of the planet. So this, is, this problem is common of all the, the organization and we need uh, to uh, have a common action to enforce the action of ICTs with uh, standardization to be sure that we uh, can really <laughs> reduce the, uh, the, the carbon the, uh, to be net zero, to be successful, to be compliant with Paris agreements, uh, to respect the IPCC recommendation and to be sure to, to, to obtain the objective to be net zero. Mm -hmm.